My next guest has got a huge fight coming up here against Matt Brown at UFC Fight Night on June 19th. Of course, it's Diego Lima joining me here on the program. Diego, how's it going? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me again. Hey, of course. Always good to talk to you, man. I love this fight. I don't know if a lot of people realize that there's a bit of history there. Uh, Matt Brown defeated your brother, Douglas Lima, I want to say back in 2007. Um, When when you got this matchup, were you pretty excited to kind of get some revenge for Douglas in this matchup? (laughs) I was excited, but not about the revenge. You know, that was a long time ago. That was actually my brother's first loss. But, you know, it, it wasn't about that, man. I'm, I was just excited because it's Matt Brown, man. You know, that's, that's you know, a dream come true, man, fighting a legend. You know, who doesn't want to fight legends? And, you know, when I got the call, it was like, oh, my goodness, you know. I hesitated a bit, you know, because I trained with him in um, when Dillashaw, when I was an ultimate fighter, he was one of Dillashaw's coaches, you know. And, you know, I then didn't really get to train with him a lot, man, but just – He's he was coaching us, teaching us, you know, and his mentality, man, it's just it's just something amazing, man. I knew I was gonna have a hard camp. I knew I was gonna have to put everything on the line and you know, just from what I seen from him, and he was just amazing, man. And he he'll be the first one, you know. When I thought about taking it, I thought of him saying, you know, hey, don't be a B I T C H, you know. He, <laughs> that was his thing. It's like don't be that. Yeah. And I thought right away, I was like, yeah, that, that's what Matt Brown would say. It's like, so I better go and fight him. So <laughs> it was cool, man, dude. I, I was curious, what did Douglas say when you took the fight? I'm sure that crossed his mind yeah. that he had fought him, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He was like, oh, you're going to give me some revenge. Huh? He was excited. So <laughs> it, it's just excited, man. It was cool. And, and good timing, too, with this fight, because Douglas obviously has his fight coming up here as well. So I'm sure you guys are getting ready sort of at the same time. Right, man. Same time. And camp has been amazing, man. Douglas got a tough fight as well. You know, got an undefeated opponent. And, man, it's been a rough, hard camp for both of us. And, man, it's going to show, man. We're ready, dude. We're ready. We trained today. We had wrestling today. And, man, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. It was been, been very hard, man. I knew, like I told you, man, I know how Matt Brown trains. I know his mentality. And, you know, you got to kill him to get him out of there. Yeah. And, you know, and that and that's how I've been training for this fight, man. I got to be ready for 15 minutes of action, you know, and that's how it's going to be. You know, I can't wait. What did you learn the most from that last fight against Malone Muhammad? Man, for me, it was just getting back healthy. And, you know, I'm back now. You know, it's just like it was I had no rhythm. And by the time I got my rhythm, the fight was over. So it was just hard to find my rhythm, you know, and he didn't help, man. All I needed was like three seconds to shake off, and he, he was in my whole face. The, he was in my face the whole time. So I couldn't get a rhythm, man, you know, coming off the injury, coming off two surgeries. And, you know, it was the first time ever. You know, I've had never had any surgeries before. And then and he was on my neck as well. So you're like, you always have in the back of my your head, you know, oh, my God, am I going to be okay? Like, you know, so – I wasn't thinking that, of course, but it's always there. So you was just getting getting away from that fear, you know. I I could have fought an easier fight, you know, somebody who wasn't ranked. You know, I could have said no, but, man, I'm a fighter, man. I, I fight everybody. I don't care, you know. It was a hard fight to come back to, and, you know, I'm glad it happened, man, because it showed where I really am. You know, for me, for my mentality, I needed that, and it just made me so much better, made me confident, made me know I can take a shot, made me know, you know, my takedown defense is there. And, you know, there was a lot of good things, man, even though it was a negative result. But for me, man, it was all positive, and I'm ready to build on from that. You know, I'm just excited. I got my rhythm back. Even training is better now. You know, I got a rhythm, you know, and I can't wait to show it. Who are you mainly training with for this camp? Who have been some of your main training partners? We know Douglas is one of them, but uh, mm-hmm. who, who else are you getting to work with? Man, Douglas, you know, we had Michael Graves here for a little bit. You know, Michael Graves, actually, he trained with Matt Brown. He was in Connecticut, but he has family here in Atlanta. But we brought him mostly to help Douglas out, you know, because Douglas finding real good wrestlers. And, you know, I got a few rounds with him as well. But, man, main, mainly my brother, you know, Will Brooks is here, man. Got a great couple of guys here, man, man. You know, it's just a bunch of secret weapons. You know, I can't give out the names. Good secret weapons. Of course, weapons yeah. <laughs> don't want to give out too much. What about, but, um, but I'll, nah, I'll, man, I'll throw man. a couple other names out at you, though. Uh, Rocco, yeah. Rocco Martin, what's the latest with him? I know he's a free agent. Rocco, Is he... Yeah, man, he's a free agent. He's looking for a fight, but he's back, he back in Florida, man. He, oh, gotcha. He moved here to Atlanta for a while, man. I think he stayed with us for a year. But, you know, he moved back to Florida right now. So he's in Florida right now. And, man, but, you know, he's awesome, man. I learned so much from him, and. Rock was amazing, man. But he's just looking to fight, man. And I think Bellator had offered him something, but he was a little too close. And 
But he's finally healthy, man. He had a rough, you know, rough year. You know, it was just injuries got to him, but he's healthy now. And, you know, I can't wait to see him back. And I know uh, Cody Jordan's another guy you train closely with. I know Cody's going through some mm-hmm. injuries. How, how's everything yeah. with him right now? ACL as well. You know, he's almost cleared. He should be back. He should. I think he's he's good to go for jujitsu. He's pretty much good to go. So mm-hmm. he's just taking it slowly. But you know he'll fight before the end of the year, and he's getting ready, man. I'm gonna throw out one more name for you, and this is a really yeah. young guy. He just made his pro debut a little while ago. Jamar Whitehead. How good is this kid? I don't know how much you've gotten a chance to train with him or seen him, but Shoot. he is a uh, he's he's man. got the personality. He's got the fight Stop. style. I mean, this guy looks like the real deal, even after just one pro fight. Solid, 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 man. You know. He, around here, man, you know, he made a lot of noise, you know, because, you know, his attitude, he's a fighter, man. He's a gamer, you know, so a lot of people didn't like around here, like him around here just because of, you know, his attitude and all that. But, man, for a fighter, you got to build yourself, you know. That's how you got to be to make noise in this fight game. And But, you know, what people doesn't know, man, the kid is always training, man. He's doing jujitsu. He's wrestling. He's striking. You know, and he's always training, and, and that's going to show, man. That's why he's confident, you know. He's confident because he trains, not because he's there to put in an act, you know. The kid is confident because he's always training, and, you no, know, he's going to be a problem, man. He's going to be a problem in the future. He can wrestle. He has a ground game. He can strike and, you know, just complete factor, man. And gonna... then we had another one, too, man, one of my students that pretty much started with me, man, grew up, moved here and grew up with me on the Ultimate Fighter, you know, Trey Sean Gore. So very happy for him. He's going to be on the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, debuting tomorrow, you know, Ultimate Fighter starts tomorrow. So keep an eye on that guy, man. He's he's only 3-0, and oh, but, man, the kid gives me problems, gives Douglas problems. It's like, dude, kid is annoying good, and, you know, he's going to show it, man. I'm excited. And, and what's that been like? You know, you've been at the gym for a long time to see these young guys like Durden, like, uh, you know, Whitehead and, and like, who you, uh, you know, the student you just mentioned there, all, you know, the sort of new wave that's coming through the gym. And you're a big part of that because I know a lot of what you do now is coaching. Mm-hmm. Man, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know, and we started me and my brother started a gym, you know, what, I think seven, eight, eight years ago. So, you know, at this time, you know, we got to build up so we can focus on our careers, you know. So we're focused on our careers, man. We have coaches that take takes care of these kids. And, you know, I'm there for the mental part. I'm there to guide them through it. You know, I know there's going to be so many offers coming. I know there's going to be so much negativity. So I'm protecting them from that, you know. The training and the coaching, that's all extra, man. That's all, you know, that comes with it. But the biggest part is being there for these kids, you know, cornering them and, you know, just being there on the other side, man, the politics side, you know, the the people taking advantage of them side. And, you know, that's something I can help with. And it's just been a blessing, man, just been a blessing. You know, we opened we opened a gym a year ago, you know, because we separated from a partner. We opened a gym a year ago and, you know, we're having to extend already. So we're looking for a bigger place now, only a year into a gym. So, man, it's been a blessing, man. And these guys, even though we don't coach a lot, you know, we're not teaching a lot of classes right now because they see we're focusing on career. They see that it's real, you know. They see that, wow, like I see these guys working. They know how it is to get there. And it's just been a blessing for their lives, man. And I, I'm so amazed to be a part of it, you know. It's just great to see them growing and just be able to put some input in their lives. It's just amazing. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Corner going to be Ron, Ron Jukon, you of course. know. Of course. It's like mandatory, and, right? Juan mandatory. Carnero, one of the best corners. Yeah, he but... was not last time. He had COVID on my last one, man. So that's, that's right. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I was, was trying to remember. Below. Yep, Douglas, you know, and then my uh, boxing coach, Philippe. Cool. And how's this fight playing out on June 19th? I can't wait for it. Man, I, I can't tell you, man. I don't know. You know, <laughs> You've got I some secrets know. up your sleeve, I think. And no, it's not really secrets, man. It's just it's Matt Brown, man. That's that's one of the fiercest, toughest guys ever, man. You know, I'm ready to go 15 minute rounds, man. I'm ready to bleed. I'm ready to get hurt. I'm ready to hurt him. It's just that's just you got to be ready for that when you go in in there with him, man. That's a very dangerous guy. He can knock you out at any moment, you know. And if he doesn't, he's gonna keep coming. And, you know, that's the fight I'm ready for, man. I I really feel we're going to put on a show. It's going to be one of those fight of the years. And, man, I'm ready to go, man. I know what he brings to the table. You know, I experienced it. You know, being with him, I hung out with him, ate with him. And he actually taught a class. You know, he coached one of the classes. And, man, him was all about mentality, man. It's like, uh uh-uh, it's not easy. Like, suck it up and go, you know. Don't, Don't be weak, you know. Take all that out. So his mentality is just amazing, man. 
that's something I picked up from him. And man, I can't wait to show it. You know, it's going to be amazing. Matt Brown's a pretty big name in the division. A win, does that sort of put you back on the track you were on before? Because uh, again, Matt holds a lot of notoriety in that division. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. That's why I was so excited. You know, you build a le- you uh, beat a legend like that, you're right there, man. You're right there. And then a lot of things is going to happen now in a way, in a, in a top 15, you know, there's a lot of fights coming up on that one. So it's going to be a lot of changes right there. And, you know, it's an opportunity, you know, I finish a guy like that, man, boom, I'm right there again. So, you know, it's a big opportunity for me. I know I had, I just had one with Bilal, you know, and now same thing again, you know, just a great opportunity. And I feel beating a guy like that is just right away. People are talking about you. So, you know, it's a great opportunity and I'm ready for it. You know, I'm ready to take it all in and, go you know now i got that first one out of the way coming back from the surgeries and all i just needed that man i needed that i just wish it was a win but you know a loss no problem man no problem just gonna come right out let's go and we're looking forward to it man ufc fight night june 19th diego thank you so much for the time always appreciate uh you taking the time just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media and if you got any sponsors or shout outs i'll give you the last word nah thank you very much man thanks for having me you know, I'm DH Lee, my MMA, Instagram, and Twitter. And, you know, let's go, man. Just excited to go, excited to get back in there. And, you know, we'll see you on the winning side. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.